The Ukrainian Armed Forces operation in the Kursk region has been ongoing for nearly two weeks, with new advancements reported within Russian territory, according to a report from the American Institute for the Study of War, ISW. Geolocation footage shows Russian forces striking Ukrainian armored vehicles in northern Martinovka. This indicates that Ukrainian forces have recently advanced to this settlement. A Russian war correspondent reported that Ukrainian troops had captured Troitskoy and advanced to Semenovka. The Russian Ministry of Defense and Russian war correspondents have reported that Ukrainian forces conducted attacks. On the outskirts of Koronevo, southwest of Koronevo near Komarovka, east of Koronevo near Olgovka, northeast of Koronevo around Alexeyevsky, Safonovka, Kromskye Biki, Korchuk, and Sheptukovka, north of Sudza in the areas of Cherkaskoy Porechnoy, and Ruskoy Porechnoy, southeast of Sudza in the area of Ozerka, Giri, and Boki. Additionally, according to geolocation footage from July the 17th and 18th, Ukrainian forces continue operations across the full extent of their declared advance in the Kursk region. In this case, Russia has deployed the so-called Space Brigade to defend the Kursk region. The soldiers have been reclassified as motorized infantry due to a shortage of personnel, according to important stories. The publication citing sources notes that a motorized rifle regiment composed of personnel from the Russian Aerospace Forces was formed in May to June for border protection. The so-called Space Brigade arrived in the border areas a few weeks before the Ukrainian breakthrough in mid-July. The unit included soldiers from security companies, engineers, mechanics and a few officers from the flight crews. They were transferred to infantry from airfields in Ukrenska, in Altai Krai, Belaya in Irkutsk region and Engels in Saratov region. It is reported that the Space Brigade is already experiencing casualties. In the fighting near the settlement of Korenevo, 22-year-old Ilya Romanov went missing. He had been transferred to infantry from the 28th Arsenal of the Space Forces in Tambov region, a high-security facility where rockets and satellites are stored. The publication also speculates that the motorized rifle troops were likely part of a convoy of equipment destroyed by a strike near Rilsk in Kursk region on the night of August the 9th. On the same day, a 22-year-old sergeant from the Aerospace Forces transferred from a heavy bomber base in Amur region was injured at this location. Russian propaganda claimed Ukraine was planning to attack the Zaporizhia and Kursk nuclear power plants, hinting that Russia might be planning a nuclear provocation. Andriy Kovalenko, head of the Center for Countering Disinformation of Ukraine, said this. Russia may be preparing a nuclear provocation. Their scenario of accusing us of terrorism and an attack on the Kursk nuclear power plant did not work, and now they are lying about a dirty bomb and our possible provocation. This is evidence that Russia may be preparing a terrorist attack, Kovalenko wrote. The Center for Countering Disinformation responded to the publications that appeared in the Russian state propaganda agencies RIA, Novosti and TASS. The Russians are spreading claims that Ukraine is preparing to shell the Zaporizhia and Kursk nuclear power plants. The Ukrainian Foreign Ministry also denied Russian claims about Kiev's alleged plans to attack nuclear power plants with so-called dirty bombs. Ukraine has neither the intention nor the ability to carry out any such actions. Russia must stop spreading dangerous lies. Ukraine has always been and remains a committed member of the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons. We do not have any dirty bombs and do not plan to acquire them. When the Russian Federation first spread this nonsense in 2022, we invited an IAEA mission which completely refuted this lie. Nothing has changed since then, said Foreign Ministry spokesman Hiori Taiki. We officially refute these false reports. Ukraine has neither the intention nor the ability to carry out any such actions. Russia must stop spreading dangerous lies, he said. The Kursk nuclear power plant is located nearly 80 kilometers from the Kursk Oblast border town of Sudza, 
that was reportedly captured by Ukrainian forces during Kyiv's ongoing incursion into Kursk Oblast. Russian media reported that Russia is preparing to defend the Kursk plant as Ukrainian troops approach and have begun constructing defensive lines near it. The Zaporizhia nuclear plant, Europe's largest nuclear power station, has been under Russian occupation since March 2022. Its position near the front line has led to heightened nuclear safety risks throughout Russia's full-scale war.